Ah, okay. So I, uh, I got some not so great news yesterday. The job that I had applied to that I was very excited about, I made it to the final six. And of those six, I wasn't shortlisted for, I think, probably like the final two or three. I was both really disappointed and also very grateful. And I want to share some of the takeaways, right? I applied to a job and I, as soon as I applied, I started to fill my head with what ifs. What if I get this job and all of a sudden I have the highest income I've ever had in my life? And this was a month long process, the application. So it was a while of filling my head with those ideas. As soon as I got the email, my first thought was, there's no fixing this. This is just what it is. How do I feel about that? And what am I going to do about it? And as soon as you do that, I find that it just sort of slowly goes away on its own. And I think it's important to go in that order. I think a lot of times we skip the how do I feel about it and we just go straight to, all right, well, what's the point in feeling anything about it if it's already what it is? You know, what is feeling going to do for me in this situation? My inclination, and I think a lot of people feel the same way, is, well, that's only going to make it worse. And, and I'm not going to lie, you know, it is, it is a bummer and it is a, a process to, to accept that and to then move on. Haven't left the house, I think, in like two days already. So uh, forcing myself to do that now. And there's a nice little spot just 15 or 20 minutes away from my apartment is, is the most quiet spot I've been able to find in this neighborhood. Completely empty. Perfect time, perfect weather, perfect day. You know, I think that sometimes it can be hard when you're in your routine to take some time out. It's hard for me to come out here and just read for a couple hours and not feel like I need to get back home or like I need to do something, even if I don't read. Sometimes if I come out here and I just sit and bask in the sun, I feel like I need to read or else it's a waste of my time. And that doesn't happen when I go on vacation or I go back home to Mexico and just lay by the beach. But I think it's important to take some time out and just, doesn't matter if it's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, doesn't matter what day of the week it is. Just find a quiet, quiet place where you can forget about time. And if you can, Leave your watch at home, leave your phone at home, and if it's a sunny day, leave your shirt at home too. I'm reading. I Got There by Javon McCormick in preparation for this Thursday's podcast. And uh, it's my second time reading it. I'm getting more into rereading books. It's a habit I think that I should have started earlier and I think a lot of people dismiss as an idea because we're so caught up in consuming new things that we forget. Sometimes we need to reread or, or rewatch or re-listen to content in order for it to really stick with us. So I'm making a list of books that I think are worth rereading 
I eventually would like to get it down to where it's maybe a list of 50 or 100 books and I'm only reading, for the most part, only reading those books year in, year after year after year. Uh, and maybe, you know, five or six new books a year. But yeah, there's just, I think about that a lot. Like, I read this book when I was, I think, 20 years old, 20 or 21, and it blew my mind. And now I'm reading it for the second time, and it's blowing my mind again for a lot, for, for different reasons. So... Also, always lovely to, <laughs> to. Oh, what's up, doggos? Oh, what's up, doggos? What's up there? Mm. I was just about to say that it is, it is lovely to read in nature, in the sun, especially when there are dogs running free. Get away from social media, get away from the news for a while and see what's actually happening out there. Thank you.